In 2001, company dancer Linda McCarthy expressed an interest in choreography. Following a successful pilot project, Linda created her first piece, Three A's, which was performed at Bloomsbury Theatre, London. In 2003, Magpie Dance introduced a groundbreaking mentoring scheme to support choreographers with learning disabilities. In 2020, there are currently two weekly Magpie Adult Choreographers sessions. Their work has been performed at venues in Bradford, Kent, Yorkshire and numerous events across London. Pieces have been showcased at the South Bank Centre in both Exposure and Equals Dance Festivals at Sadler's Wells and as part of the Live at Lunch programme at the Royal Opera House. When my son was born, it was very clear to me that he had Down syndrome and professionals were very keen on telling you what he was very unlikely to do. And the provision that Magpie gives to somebody like Joe and the other activities that he does proves that that's completely wrong. They're very similar to other people. You give people opportunities and they grow into them, they develop, and this is absolutely the same for people with a learning disability. The dancers themselves get an awful lot from this. Uh, as I said before, it's about the creative process and their contribution, but it really helps them with things like their confidence, their ability to communicate. Dance is a form of communication that helps other forms. Uh, you could argue it's about their health and well-being as well. But I mean, my daughter Hannah wouldn't, wouldn't have a life without Magpie. She, it, it's so important to her. Uh, and it's made a major difference to how well she's doing in all the other forms of her life. If you ask them the question, I think they just love to move and um, it makes them feel good. It's like a hug, isn't it? You get all the endorphins. And I think once they come here, it gives them a sense of purpose. And also they like conformity and they like sameness. So that's really important for them as well. So they know every week they'll go to this particular thing, they'll have a couple of hours, they'll enjoy it, they'll be with people that they know because that might be the only time they get to socialize during the week and, and uh, they have a lovely time and generally they come away exhausted and happy right hi I'm Phil and uh, my daughter uh, Kate is uh, been, is with magpie she's been here for quite a few years now uh, it's made a tremendous difference to her um, Helps in all sorts of ways. Obviously, coordination, things like that, getting a sense of rhythm, but also obeying physical instructions, getting more in touch with her body. It isn't soft. It isn't necessarily always um, easy on the individuals here, but they're 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 stressed in a loving way, and they are encouraged to achieve an awful lot more than I could ever believe, and it's of great benefit to her. Do Peter and the umbrella first, and then do Melissa's one. No. We'll remember that sideways one. That's, that's something to do with you, because all you're doing is backwards and forwards. So if you incorporate the sideways, and you give a... And then you give a... I can see my last time, I can see my legs. Or is that to go and get the umbrella, is it? No, well, I think or when, once he's got the umbrella? Is that? She just goes, she goes and forwards. Yeah.